Salesforce has a number of productivity tools geared at saving time as well as keeping your records and communication standardized. One of my favorite tools is QuickTex, and if you hover in many boxes in Salesforce, notes, call logs, chats, emails, you'll notice on the right hand side a little icon where it says insert quick note text. Uh, if you're in classic, it won't be automatically enabled, but in lightning it is. And the two things that you need to do to get this rocking and rolling in your org is to one, give a permission set to the folks that you want to be able to create, edit, and delete these quick texts. Uh, it's better to have a, a standard, maybe a handful of people doing this versus everybody messing with everybody else's quick text. Uh, the second thing you want to do is to create folders where you can create sharing rules. So uh, only the salespeople see the sales quick text, the support people see the support quick text and so on. So in order to do that, head on over to setup and we'll first create the permission set. Just like any other new, I'm going to call this one quick text power user, save. Go to object settings, find quick text, and we're going to enable read, create, edit, and delete. So these are for your managers or for folks that you trust to create, edit, and delete quick text. Uh, everyone else should have it by default unless you're in classic. Uh, or have an org before 2018, then you would just create another permission set with just that read access. If you do want everybody accessing everything, you could go to your settings in the global default and change that to read, uh, read write, edit there, uh, but I'd recommend going this route. So I'm going to save and manage assignments. And I'm going to give this to me and who else might be good? Let's say Allison. Uh, there are other people in here, but if I tried to give this to uh, somebody in Chatter, they don't have the license to it. You need at least a standard uh, Salesforce license. Can't assign. Oh, she does not have it. Okay, yeah, Salesforce platform. So you need the Salesforce license. So I guess I'm the only one with that permission set at the moment. All right, so the second thing we're going to do is enable those folders that allow different people to see different quick text fields. And the way we do that is just by going to quick text. And share and organize quick text in folders. So I'm going to click save. One other thing that I would actually recommend doing too uh, I read in the forums that supposedly this happens automatically after about 24 hours, um, but I am not that patient. So if you go to the quick text object and go to page layouts, uh, you'll want to see that folder icon. We just enabled it and we're going to add it. Make it visible. All right, save. Cool. So we should be ready to start using quick text in your org. Let's create one now. So quick text. And new quick text. We're going to say, how about log a lead call? Yeah. Goals, plans, challenges, time, budget, you know, things you'd want to say after chatting with a lead. And I'm going to give this to full. And we don't need that in email. That looks good. Um, category, I haven't preset these categories, but 
I'll just put closing right here. And the folder I do need to select a folder, or actually create a folder. So folder, say this one's for the sales. Save. There we go, just like reports, you have those folders in here. All right, and I'm going to change the, that share setting for the folders real quick with, I can do individual users, roles, groups. Uh, how about roles and anyone in the channel sales team? Done. Perfect. So if we go, let's say back to leads, and we're going to log a call, and we have, uh, you know, I know we're supposed to log something, log a lead call. Here we go. I've got a little template for my comments section in here, and that's that's what you need to do to create quick text and set it up so people can see it in an organized fashion in your Salesforce org. I'll be sure to cover some more time-saving tools like quick actions, macros, uh, predefined fields, and email templates in future videos. But until then, hopefully this was helpful, and we'll see you in the next one.